Hi, so after a small collision with a tree, um, this Phantom 3 has no really visible body damage, but I did have an issue with the gimbal not operating correctly. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the issue I was having and then how I ended up fixing it thanks to a post I found on Phantom Pilots. Okay. So you'll see during startup, the gimbal is spinning around quite crazy and never actually stops. Um, sometimes it'll spin around uh, really crazy. Here it's just having a hard time trying to center. If you have this happen, go ahead and check this because this ended up fixing it for me. I'm going to go ahead and power down here. Okay, so we're off. So flip the Phantom over uh, onto its propellers with the battery facing you. So turn it like this. Okay. So now that we're upside down, here's what you're going to look for. Okay, on the bottom of the gimbal, uh, you're going to see this shaft right here. You want to make sure that the flat of the shaft, you can see that it's a circle, but then there's a small cutout that's called the flat. You want to make sure the flat is properly aligned with the set screw here, and that the set screw is tightened down onto the flat. In my case, uh, after a small crash, that set screw came loose and was no longer on the flat of the shaft. So what I'm going to do is loosen up the set screw, and then the way to do it is to go ahead and keep your camera uh, positioned like this, where the set screw is facing out. To turn the pan shaft, we're going to gently turn the motor. To do that, I'm going to lift up on the gimbal assembly from the dampening balls, and we'll see the motor right inside here. I'm going to use the screwdriver and just gently turn the motor. And as I rotate the motor here, I'll see the shaft spinning on top. Now we can see the angle of the flat of the shaft is aligned with the set screw down here. Okay, so once you have the pan shaft and the set screw aligned, we're going to tighten them. When we're tightening them though, we're going to uh, lift up the assembly just a little bit so it's centered between the bottom and the top here. So we don't want it sliding on the bottom and we don't want it sliding on the top. So just somewhere right in between, kind of hold it there with one hand and then we'll tighten it with the other. Okay, and I've just finished tightening the set screw. The tool I'm using for this is a 1.5 millimeter uh, hex wrench. So you can either use an Allen key or uh, the actual wrench if you have it here. Um, I'm going to flip this over and power it back on now, and we'll see how it works. Alright, and we can see the uh, gimbal came right back up, and it's working properly. So if you have that problem, check out that set screw, because it can definitely cause you some issues. Thanks.